Hello everyone and welcome back. So this is another short tutorial um, covering how to install the latest unofficial Gims Evo, which is going to fix a lot of issues with both um, Gims not wanting to start on later versions of 3ds Max, but also fixing a lot of smaller issues with lights uh, and collision in inside 3ds Max. So. Um, some people report that this version of GIMS is a bit slower at exporting and importing, but I think in this case it's just people don't really know that GIMS can be slow to export at times. So, but just keep that in mind. Um, as for usual, I'm going to be leaving links in the description and I'm going to be leaving backup links in, in Discord just in case something gets deleted. So, let's get started. So first things first, you want to download this uh, version of of Gims from the Google Drive. I'm gonna let it do its thing real quick. As per usual, my internet is slow. When it's done downloading, you're gonna have inside this folder. You're gonna have these here. So the README is obviously the ins installation ins instructions and the patch notes. And these are the two files that we want to install. So we can just close this download down since we're done with that. Then we're gonna find where we installed our uh, 3ds Max, which can be in either program files or program files uh, x68. Uh, Depending if you have the 64-bit ver version or the 32-bit, usually it's in program files. So I'm just gonna go in there. I'm going to go to Autodesk and then in here, this can be whichever version you have. So it could be 2020 or 21. In my case, it is 2017 because that's just the version I still use. So in here, you're going to go to scripts and then inside scripts, you're going to go to startup. In my case, I already have GIMS installed. So I'm just going to delete these two. So if you have the old version of GIMS, just delete those files. In the download, you're gonna go to scripts, startup, and then you're gonna have the, th the three files here. You're just gonna drag those in here. And there we go. And then for this folder here, we want to drop this in our local uh, app data folder. So in your address bar, or you can hit Windows uh, button R, to get the, the run window, or you can go into start and you can type run. Either, like either of these ways are fine. In my case, I'm just gonna go to my address bar and I'm gonna do percentage local app data percentage and then enter. This is gonna take you into your app data and your local folder. This is where you wanna drop the GIMS folder inside of. So you just drop that in here and then we're pretty much done with the zip. So after doing that, I'm going to launch um, 3ds Max and I'm going to be leaving a download link for these two files that it will ask for. So the material fx.data and the materials.data. Gonna be a download link for those in the description as well. You can just drop this wherever. In my case, I have it in documents, just so I'm sure I don't delete this by accident. So, whenever Max is uh, ready to go, I guess while while we wait, I can plug my Patreon and thank my Patreons for supporting me as per usual. I know it sucks to hear about, but hey. You gotta do what you gotta do. All right. So when this is done, as per usual, in your sidebar, obviously the EU will is gonna show up and you're just gonna hit accept. But in your sidebar over here, you're going to click on the wrench 
And Gims is going to show up whenever my my max is done loading. There we go. And you can see we have the uh, Gims Evo panel. In my case, the icons look a bit weird, but that's that's normal. So you click in the lower right the one that looks like a door and it's going to ask you to locate those two files that I showed you earlier. So in this case I have mine in documents and then in the one called GIMS and we're just going to click OK. It's going to load the files, going to check if, if everything is all right and you should be good to go. So Usually, if you had the original version of GIMS and you were using anything uh, above 2017, so 2018, 19, 20, you would usually get the shared core error on uh, booting up GIMS. This version shouldn't have that. Um, so you should pretty much be good to go with any version. You're not, uh, not going to have any issues with uh, exporting pet models either. So that should be fixed as well. So there's a lot of small tweaks and fixes in general. So this version just is, is overall the better option. So we should be good to go. We can go to create object. Going to go to collision. We can just create a box here just to check. And then we have our GIMS collision box. So everything is working like it should. So that's pretty much it. Pretty straightforward, there shouldn't be any issues. As per usual, if you run into problems, join my Discord and uh, we'll see if we can, we can help you out. All right, I appreciate it and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.